All right, what's up everybody? Hope you're doing good. Uh, today I got a special unboxing to do. Um, it's a, of a hinder, as you can see. And it uh, give you a little bit of backstory about uh, this knife a little bit. Um, like I said in one of my last videos, I had to sell off some of my uh, more expensive knives because I needed the money. And one of them was my uh, Hinder. And uh, I never actually did a, a video on that one, but that was my favorite Hinder. I had to sell. So, um, I'm starting uh, to get things back on track and everything. And uh, I'm able to uh, buy some knives that I've been missing now. So, I started looking for another 3-inch Hinder. Excuse me. And... Um, when I was looking online, uh, they go for about, I think, 425 brand new. So I was looking on there at uh, the different kinds they had, and I was looking uh, on forums and stuff. But this particular 3-inch uh, XM18 is kind of special to me because uh, you know how... Uh, when there's a knife you really want to get your and you can remember watching a video the first time you saw that knife for the first time and you thought it was cool well the first video I ever saw on the XM18 was uh, this exact model and uh, I don't know why I clicked on that video first but I just remember this being the first video I saw so I'm gonna put a link in the description to that guy's videos from several years ago but you know, so that's the first video I saw, so I wanted to get one uh, just like that. Um, I wasn't looking for that one right away, but I saw this come up, and it happened to be the exact knife that I had seen in that video. So, anyway, this isn't, obviously this isn't my first tender, but I just wanted to give that little backstory. So now I'm going to open it. Um, I'll be using my SNG that I've never made a video on. Uh, mainly because the I went back and watched that video and that guy's using a did I say XM18? This is an SMG. Because uh, that guy's using his SMG in the in his uh, video, which was actually an unboxing video as well. And he put some serious tape on this. Which isn't a bad thing, I guess. Let's see. Plus, it arrived the day early, so that is awesome. Never done an un unboxing on the channel, but I might start doing a few, keeping them short. Man. Let's see. Right. So, yeah, the guy uh, had this up for sale. He said it was um, basically brand new, had never been uh, used, never been carried, never cut anything, which I thought was crazy because it's a Generation 2, which those came out in 09, so it could be several years old, so I thought it was kind of a good find. And I got it for, uh, I think, 350 so it's I got almost $100 less than... A noon would cost him. He said this was basically brand new in the box. So, get all this stuff. Get the orange paper. Let me see if there's anything else in the box here. Nope. Alright, get that out of the way. I didn't do this outside like I normally do. I brought it to my little table where I work on my knives. Alright. Well, it looks like a hinderer box to me. I guess this was before they put the stickers on them. I guess I'll leave that right there. So, without further to do, let's see what we got. There she is. Got the hinderer packaging the baggie Let's see what it looks like Let's see 
this is the first time I'm looking at it with you, so I'm just kind of going to shut up and just look at it for a little bit. Hmm. It does seem a little different than my, ooh, wow, that is a light detent, lighter than I thought it was. Hmm, I didn't know it was that light. I prefer a lighter detent so I can open it with a thumb stub. That's even lighter than my last one, which I thought was light. Yeah, it's got a different feel to it than my last, uh, feels lighter for some reason than my last three inch. My last three inch was a, Generation 3. This is Generation 2, you can tell, because it's got the stop pin right here and the sterile blade, no markings on the blade. Let's see how that edge is. Uh, it feels like the standard, how a hinder would come. It's not crazy sharp, but it's got a good edge. It's not dull or anything. So now here's an up close look at the blade. Uh, it looks for the most part like it wasn't used. He said he did, the only thing he did was change the pocket clip ever since he had it. So, looks like there might be a little something going on right here. But, it's alright. Hmm. I'm going to have to get used to that detent for sure. It stays in well. There it went. Hmm. Well, it's extremely easy to open with the thumb stud. That is for sure. So. Might need a little oil on the pivot. Make it a little smoother. See the centering looks like pretty good. Can't get over that. I can't flip these. Normally I can flip any hinder or go. There it goes. Hmm. There it goes. It takes some getting used to. Let's see how the blade play is. No blade play at all. Very good. Let's see what the lockup looks like early just like all of the XM18s are well I'm happy with it I'm gonna do a I'll, I'll do a full review later once I get this kind of worked in and everything and um, I guess I'll I'll put it next to my SMG for a little size comparison first impressions I like it the detent is lighter than I thought so I don't know if I'm gonna end up liking that as much or not um, so uh, my next video I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do a comparison or upcoming video is going to be a comparison between this and the full size XM18 which uh, I don't have my brother has one I'm going to take his to do a little comparison on it and I'm going to do some uh, explanation on the generations of these knives as well but anyway just want to do a quick unboxing show y'all what the XM18 second gen looks like in the slicer grind. Alright, y'all have a good one.